Okay, now here's an interesting one. A friend of mine called Daryl called me up this evening and told me about a blog he just created. It's called warningfromthecave.blogspot.com and uh, you can see it uh, by going to that address warningfromthecave.blogspot.com and this is actually something that was generated by the Blogspot software so I don't believe that he knows how to fake the dates. I'm not even sure I could on their website. Friday, March the 4th, 2011, one week before the tsunami and earthquake hit Japan. It says, Repent Japan. I'm prophesying a great earthquake coming to the land of Japan. I saw this in a dream in December 2010. I was shown in the dream concrete that had just broken apart, exposing steel reinforcing rods. The earthquake was so violent the concrete just broke apart. I saw this at the base of what was once a large building. I saw that the share market drop sharply after the earthquake because the damage was so great. I saw numbers on a piece of paper, 3250. I'm not sure what this represents, maybe an indexing of the share market. I understand that this earthquake occurred as a judgment from God because the love of money was in the land. Maybe if the land should repent, this destruction won't happen. Turn to Jesus Christ and be saved. Prophet Darrell in the Bunya Mountains, Queensland. February the 27th, 2011. Obviously posted, as we see above, on Friday, March the 4th, 2011. Very interesting. It's not the first prophecy that I have heard of that was actually given before this earthquake in Japan. Another one was done by uh, the prophet Sadhu Sandar Selvaraj, an Indian prophet who's got a television channel called Angel TV based in Chennai, I believe, or it could be Singapore. In any case, uh, he also prophesied of a disaster coming to, to Japan. He prophesied this in late 2010. You can have a look at this because this is very interesting. And uh, for me, it's also very interesting that there's another prophecy, the second one I've heard of at least, concerning the east coast of Australia, that there will be a tsunami to hit the east coast of Australia. Uh, listen to what Daryl says. I'm prophesying in the name of the God of Israel a great earthquake striking off the east coast of Australia. I saw this in a dream at 1 a.m. on the 27th of the 3rd, 2011. I saw a tsunami strike with very little warning. I found myself trying to run but nowhere to go. I saw people getting swept away, people trying to climb trees, cars getting swept away. In this dream, I understood people could save themselves if only they believed the warning God is giving through this dream. But many perish because of unbelief. I just pray people will take this seriously and go and seek God about this. I had a second dream at 5 a.m. on the 8th of the 4th, 2011. I saw a map of the east coast of Australia showing, the, showing areas on the coast in grey. I understood these areas would be hit by a tsunami. The areas which I saw were central New South Wales, Southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. These were hard hit by the tsunami. The wise thing to do is maybe move away from the coast. Well, folks, it's on record. I'm drawing attention to this because it's not the only prophecy of a tsunami that I have uh, actually heard. And uh, you can see on my, uh, my YouTube channel, James Zimmerman also had a dream about a tsunami. This dream was published here. This one on April the 8th, 2011. And you can see this at warningfromthecave.blogspot.com. Uh, and uh, I know this guy, Daryl. I spent some time with him. He seems to me a genuine, unpretentious man. He says it to me he doesn't really like to prophesy about disaster. So let's take note that God may well have spoken here. It's the second or third prophecy I've heard concerning a tsunami to hit the east coast of Australia. It'll definitely affect areas around, not far from where I myself live, uh, but I'm on high ground. And I think that's a symbol, actually, of uh, what God wants all of us to do. He wants us to get to higher ground spiritually and naturally so that we're not going to be wiped out by these tsunamis that are coming. Anyway, may the Lord bless you.